to take it out and these portions of it. You may say. Who's like? Oh, okay. I'm uh, supported by the deputy clerk of uh, parliament and the marshal to parliament. The speaker and the leadership are getting ready for parliament to come back from recess early next week. Therefore, I'm doing this on behalf of the... He's taking it together with me on behalf of the speaker and on behalf of the parliamentary leadership. My name is Asare Hassan. I'm the president of the National Association of Law Students. We also have aggrieved law students with us today. We are presenting this petition to you, as you may be well aware. There's been a lot of agitations when it comes to legal education in Ghana. One of the things that we are requesting for immediately would be to admit all the 499 students who passed their exams and yet are being denied admission to the law school. We feel that by the rules set by the IEC, that is the um, Education Committee, we, they are supposed to be admitted as per their rules. But unfortunately, a new rule came out after the exam, which we feel is unreasonable and unacceptable because it cannot be justified within the context of law. Beyond that, we're also seeking for reforms. It is a bit um, unacceptable to have 17 faculties to actually try to enter just the Ghana Legal um, School, School of Law, sorry. Um, we think that the faculties would have to be, sorry, I mean, the faculties would have to be um, given accreditation to actually run this um, law education so that a lot of students can also have access to become lawyers in the near future. Um, we feel this is a provision that is even found in the LI 2355. And for that reason, we are calling on Parliament to speak to this matter and find ways to legislate, if possible, to ensure that there is an opening for all qualified students to get access. Until 2012, we are very much aware that the only access or the only requirement to assess legal education when it comes to the PLC was through acquiring an LLB. Unfortunately, it was changed. And we feel we can revert back to it because if we revert back to it, at the moment, the limitation is actually one of it that I think it is, is pace. So if we can find a way to resolve this issue, we feel Ghanaians will be more happy. We need these reforms to be done as soon as possible because it is something that we petitioned Parliament two years ago about, and unfortunately it's still hanging. So we are just petitioning you to still reconsider. So that is why we are here. Receiving it, as you said, on behalf of the Speaker of Parliament. So, on behalf of uh, Right Honourable Speaker and the leadership of uh, Parliament, we have received your petition as representatives of the people. We will subject it to a thorough scrutiny and debate and consequential action arising thereof you will be apprised of it adequately. I have no hesitation sharing your view for a critical eye on legal education in Ghana in particular, because I share your view that legal education is at an inflection point in Ghana today, and there is a disconnect between, number of the, between the number of persons desirous of acquiring legal education and wanting to develop careers in law and the opportunities available by way of space and professional opportunities for training, including pararegals in our country. One of it, as you mentioned, has to deal with space. The space question can be dealt with through adequate budgetary allocation to the Ghana Law School and to the affected ministry in order that they make access increasingly available without compromising quality. On the matter of the 400 uh, students that you have mentioned, as you have stated, we will look at your, the merits of it and would advise accordingly. Let me use this opportunity to call on President Nana Adudan Kwaku the President of the Republic, to without any hesitation and as matter of agency, 
to constitute a legal education reform commission. However, if it fails to do that, we still can use our legislative mandate and authority to get such a commission formed. But my honest view at this juncture will be for the president to set up a legal education commission, get a number of retired uh, deans uh, of the Ghana School of Law, including Legon. I have listened to the expansion in number of faculties to 19, and it's still growing and probably to consider even zoning access to professional education at least to one of three locations in the country. So we'll look into the merits of your petition and accordingly uh, the clerk will table it and Parliament will find a date to look at it. We share a strong view that legal education should not be reserved for a select few in our country. We share that view and we share the view that it should be made increasingly accessible and open without compromising quality to increasing number of young Ghanaians who want to develop careers in law. Our governance system, our legal system and our judicial system can only be better with adequately trained professionals in law and paralegals. So thank you very much. At least we understand that it was peaceful and no incident. We want to commend you for that Thank and God know. bless. If the LI and the Supreme Court ruling are not serving the interests of persons wanting to acquire legal education and legal training as professional lawyers, we need to examine the ruling against the law and make a purposeful decision that allows you access to quality legal education. The, the LI is on trial now, correct? I wouldn't say so, but if it's not serving its purposes, the mischief will be cured by a review of it, as and when that is a position we should take as a legislative organ of state.